Hi, I'm Tim Perry, uh, Managing Editor of Multichannel Merchant. I'm with Irv Grossman, Vice President of Supply Chain Operations from Chain uh, uh, Chainalytics. Is that the correct one? Chainalytics. Chainalytics. Yes, okay. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, dimensional weight, uh, dimensional weight shipping. Uh, Irv, we were talking a little bit earlier today about FedEx and they're changing their. They're going to have a price increase based on dimensional weight shipping. Why is that going to be a a uh, big factor for uh, retailers who are shipping by way of FedEx or any uh, uh, any of the shippers. Well, I mean, in many cases, the the, uh, the shippers are not necessarily passing off the cost of freight to the customers. They're offering free shipping, maybe free next day or second day shipping, and based on the fact that they have to actually start um, getting smarter about how they're shipping their freight, they need they'll need to start thinking about what they need to pass that cost on to the customer. Um, there's going to be a lot of decisions that are going to be made by internet retailers whether or not they're going to pass this on to the customer number one or get smarter about how they're packaging their product. So a lot more thought than it used to be um, around eventualizing their, their product. Um, right now, as far as we know, only Fed, uh, FedEx has added that cost. Uh, but do you see others following suit right now? Yeah, most of the time when you're an oligopoly like this, one starts, the other one is quick to follow. So we see, we'll probably see that the remaining parts will few parts of players in the market follow suit here, but they're going to go wait for Federal Express to test this out and see whether they, it, it requires, let's really see a revenue shift away from them based on this business. So. If this, um, if these um, the price increases will obviously affect the retailers and how much they can charge for shipping as well, um, do you see this opening up other avenues like, for instance, uh, maybe doing more uh, third party fulfillment or doing anything with like a ship uh, ship to store, store. ship from store even. Yeah, we see we're gonna see a lot of changes in economics around this. Number one is is that companies are gonna be starting to look at possibly Amazon services and trying to take on the fulfillment avenue. They're gonna be making some in source outsource decisions where they would handle this freight or whether they can leverage off somebody that may have better freight pricing. Um, and they have the other thing they're gonna be looking at is the economics of shipping what to the store. Um, a lot of the basically the multi-channel retailers are pushing customers one way or the other to the store. Many re used to be many reasons why I had to deal with shipping from the store, many reasons why I had to deal with the fact that they wanted to avoid markdowns and merchandise. Um, but in many cases right now, when you're framing the equation, you're going to be shipping a big parcel, a big LTL shipment or a truckload to a store, and where the person is going to actually take it that last mile, um, they may get a better price and they may save money as well as the you know, Improves the profitability of multi-channel version. So, I think a lot more around the um, a lot a lot more uh, freight is going to come a lot more into the equation, and I think it's going to change the battlefield around uh, around retail. So. Okay. Um, inter, uh, IRC E2014 is just getting started right now. Uh, what are you looking forward to at the show? Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, a little bit more around whether. Multi-channel internet retailers are really putting thought around uh, packaging, putting thought around transportation, uh, network optimization, where they put the their warehouses, how they ship to their customers. Um, you know, you know, in a much more maturing business, that's usually when supply chain starts taking hold. People want to take costs out and saying, okay, can I shift the cost to the curve for my customers? We start seeing a lot more of that. So, I'm looking forward about meeting some retailers, also learning about the business myself. You know, it's always good that you go to these shows you learn. Time, so I'm very excited about that. Great, so, great. Well, Irv, have a great time with the show and hope everything uh, works out for you. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate it. Thank you for you too.